hey y'all hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so i know i know it has been so long since i last uploaded a diy video on my channel but you know what we're gonna try to get back into it and what better way to start out than with this beautiful shiva wig that i somehow crafted together uh, for katsukon uh, this year so if you all want to see how i achieved this keep on watching and of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe so what you're gonna need is eight packs of Kanekalon hair in the color blue. And this is what you're gonna use to cover uh, the majority of the locks that we're gonna be making. You can do eight to 10, uh, something around that number. So just so you have enough hair. And then to make the locks, we're gonna be using these blue pool noodles that I found off of Amazon. And I'll link everything down below in the description box so you know where I got them from. And then we also are going to use this exacto knife or i can't remember what this exacto knife sure it's like a larger cutting knife box cutting knife and uh yeah so we're going to be pretty much cutting uh the pool noodles in half and then also in half long ways and then and in in half short ways if that makes sense so we're going to have varying lengths to make the locks and then you're also going to need some string some scissors got to be glue spray rat tail combs and a crochet hook or needle, um, rubber bands, duck bill clips, and a boar's bristle brush, as well as a glue gun, mine is dirty, uh, a hair dryer, and I'm just showing you here the settings that I had my hair dryer on. So uh, if you have this particular one, that's what I use in terms of the settings. So right here you can see I'm cutting the pool noodles in half. I have two halves right here. And then I also went ahead and cut it um, in half long ways or short ways so that it's not the full length of the pool noodle. It's just half of a full length. Does that make sense? I hope so. Yeah, so I'm just showing you here what it looks like. And then um, now we're gonna go ahead and bound it in string. And to do that, all you're gonna do is just take your string and tie it around. like such and then uh, you're going to just double knot it and then you can also glue the ends down the loose ends down with the hot glue gun so that it doesn't escape or you can just do what I did and wrap it around and you're pretty much just going to squeeze the pull noodle and just wrap the string around it so that it forms sort of a cylinder shape Um, as you can see, I'm just gluing down the loose end so that we can just seal that off. So altogether, I made about six of these um, mid-length pieces. And then I made a seventh piece and I cut that in half first by gluing it down the center or folding it and then gluing it down the center. That way when I cut it in half, the ends wouldn't you know, come undone. And so these are gonna be the front two pieces. So now we have eight pieces. And I'm showing you just the two pieces that I made that were the full length of the pool noodle. So it's literally one pool noodle cut in half and not cut in half again. So it's, it's the full like five feet or whatever of the pool noodle. So here's just a diagram showing you the pieces that I made so that you know how many pieces you need and what lengths you should have them at. And so here I'm just showing you how I parted the wig. So even though it's already started, I already, I'm gonna show you basically from the beginning, but this is just where I parted it so I can divide the front um, from where the locks are gonna be. And so you can see that I started and I parted where the lace meets the, the first weft. So basically where the, the lace ends and the weft starts is where you're gonna part it. So right here I'm showing you how I parted the hair to install each lock. Essentially what you wanna do is have some hair in front and have some hair behind a strand um, or the strand that you're gonna to use to wrap the tube around. Um, so like it's showing there's hair in front and there's hair behind so that that masks the tube. And using that strand that is in the middle we're going to use our crochet hook and pull that through the strings of um, our first tube lock, lock tube. And the excess hair, we're just gonna wrap around so that it's literally tied to the tube. So it's not even gonna go anywhere. 
So you just can crisscross applesauce and you know glue that down or tie it however you want. So this is what it should look like once you finish that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a little bit more hair from the back uh, since there's not too much in the front um, and I'm gonna use this to wrap this around the tube But before I fully wrap it, I'm going to take a little bit of um, Our blue connect on hair now. I noticed that it is a lighter blue from the um, Original wig color, but that's totally fine because it made a really cool effect in the end and You see here. I'm literally just going to Kind of tie it or wrap it around the tube so as to mask all that string and all of that so it looks like you know just one big lock so i start from underneath and just kind of uh, crisscross over top of it and then i just take one side and wrap that down and as i'm doing this i'm also kind of spreading the hair out so that it fully covers the the tube so you don't see any of the strings and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm just gonna repeat with the other, uh, the other side. And then when I finish that and get to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue those ends down so that no hairs or no loose ends are coming out. And then using my Boris brush, I'm gonna go ahead and tease the back hair or the hair that's gonna be used to cover the Kinecolon hair. And essentially what I'm trying to do is mimic the texture of Kinecolon hair so that it looks pretty much seamless. Um, so just tease it and brush it until it's kind of, you know, got this sort of rough texture and it sort of kind of looks like Kineclon hair, as you can see here. And then I'm just going to do what I did before, which was to wrap and sort of stretch the hair over the tube. And I'm also spraying it down and gluing it so that it is very protected and there are no flyaways and it's all together nice and neat. And so what I'm going to do now is take that front piece and just pretty much do exactly what I did in the beginning, which was to wrap it the opposite way and so that everything looks pretty much seamless and nice and neat. And we're doing, you know, we're spraying, we're gluing, we're brushing. So pretty much this is what it looks like once you complete that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a very thin piece of Kinecolon hair and we're gonna spray our lock and then just simply wrap that piece over top and then just dry it in place. And then we're just gonna wrap it around. This is just for an extra added effect. I also feel like it makes it look um, like, you know, the hair came that way rather than it being like, you know, two different colors. So I just wanted everything to have sort of a consistent flow. Um, since I do have more of this, you know, lighter blue um, hair than the darker blue wig. So this is just to give it a very fun, consistent flow. Uh, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and glue down the excess. And I'm just going to rubber band that as well, just so that it's not in my way. So here I'm just showing you how I did the back. I started off with two at the very bottom and then the next row I did three and then the next row I did two so that they're sort of overlapping rather than you know being directly on top of each other and it kind of reduces the the bulk the bulkiness of the wig because I didn't want it to be like you know these really big locks that are just kind of like huge but essentially I just like alternated you know how many I did per row so that they all had their own individual space to exist. So here I am taking the two longest pieces, which I actually put at the very top um, and pretty much doing exactly what I was doing before. You just have to make sure you use more Kineclon hair and you might need, you know, half of a pack to cover these since they are quite long and we want them to still be thick. So, so as everything is, you know, pretty much the same thickness, you will have to use a little bit more hair with these guys. And so this is what it looks like pretty much almost done. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take two smaller tubes. Remember these two smaller tubes we made? And those are gonna be the two front pieces. And so this is pretty much what it looks like after all of the tubes, except for the very last middle piece is done. I just put a headband there so you can see how it kind of looks. But now what we're gonna do is my favorite part, finally, is styling the front. So taking my um, 
Boris brush. I just kind of comb it out and then tease it a little bit. But I actually would recommend not doing the teasing so that it's easier to part it as you'll see here. Um, what we're gonna try to do is get a sleek front and then a bumped back. So I started from the very back of my um, front piece and I just parted a small layer and what you're gonna do is just go layer by layer, part a little bit at a time, and smooth that down with um, Got To Be Glued. So tease it and then smooth it down with the Got To Be Glued spray, and then also the back of your rat tail comb, and then also dry it down. So you'll see right here, I'm spraying, combing, and then using the back to just smooth it down and drying it as I'm doing that. So you're gonna keep repeating this process of just taking layer by layer and smoothing it down, push, pushing it back, smoothing it down, pushing it back, smoothing it down, all of that. And so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a smaller comb and just picking out the baby hairs and then I'm just gonna re-smooth that um, front down. And y'all, baby hairs are always a must with me because black girl friendly. So here I have a little bit of that excess piece that I cut off from the longer tubes. And I'm just gonna cut a smaller piece out of that. Um, one that can fit in between the two tubes or the two locks in the front. And I'm just gonna wedge that in there, um, also gluing it so that it's secured. And this is just gonna act as a support for the bump um, to just really give this wig some dimension. And I'm just gonna tease that a little bit and fluff that over top so it looks nice and neat. Neatness, y'all, is key with this. Um, and then what I'm gonna do next, uh, I'm just gonna blow dry everything into place. And then I'm also, I don't know if I showed it in this video, but I teased out the back a lot so that it really just blended in with the, the rest of the Kanekalon hair. And then here you can see I'm taking the final middle tube. Um, now this is actually a longer tube as well, but it's not as long as the, the very, um, you know the two long tubes I showed you so this is about like I would say six inches shorter than the other ones and I'm literally just gonna do exactly what I've been doing with all the locks just installing it with my crochet hook and then wrapping connecting on hair all around it and then I'm going to uh, just cover that with the remainder of the hair and I also kind of glued things because at this point I was like a little too high off of the, <laughs> the got to be glued spray uh, yes, I do have windows and no, I did not open them because I'm reckless and I live my life dangerously. So you're going to just continue to fluff and puff and glue and spray and set until it is everything you dreamed it to be. So this is what it's going to look like uh, once you are finished with that very, very tedious process, but it is so worth it. Now this next part, I'm so sorry, y'all. I didn't film this uh, but I think it is pretty self-explanatory essentially I bought these rings from the craft store and painted them silver and to attach them I just cut a little wedge out and then just uh, wedged the locks in between them and then glued those down and then I took this metallic gold fabric and cut or rather just folded in half and just literally glued little you know designs uh, down or little what's it called ties down and yeah, this is, ex you can literally do however you want and decorate it however you want. I put a little bit of glitter to make it really sparkly. And then you can see here, I also added some rhinestones, completely, completely optional, but I just wanted to add um, some flair to it and make it really, really stand out and pop. So I added some rhinestones and here is the finished product which I'm so, so proud of this. It definitely took a long time, but it was so worth it. And I hope that you all do this as well. If you do post it on Instagram, please, please tag me in it so I can check it out and also repost it to my story. Um, yeah, I got so many compliments on this. I love this wig so much and I'm so excited that this all came into fruition. Um, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Definitely don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.